All right, everybody in Shaveland, how you doing? This is a quick little note to everybody that's taking part in the uh, SE Smackdown. That's where we're gonna be taking single edge razors here like this one, the old 1912 Jim Jr. and we push them to the limit. We, you know, I'm gonna be using a uh, stainless steel PTFE uh, coated blade and I just wanted to leave a note out there for everybody. Now, when you're doing this, you're gonna run into, if you really get deep into the challenge and get serious, what's gonna happen is, Oh well, you see these dot three dots? This is how many shaves I've taken this blade to. But back to what I'm saying. You got several options because what's gonna happen after you go so far, you're gonna notice your shaves are not gonna be as efficient no matter what you're using. It's because the blade's gonna start to dull down. But the advantage is with the single edge is because they're a little thicker, well a lot thicker than DEs, you got options. You can palm strop them like this. Okay. A lot of that'll bring your levels back up, but then you got a better option. You could towel strop them. Like that. Best option. You go real far, take you a belt, and you strop it right over the belt. Use the smoothest area you can, and that will bring your cutting edge back up. You gotta find it. After you're about your eighth and ninth shave, you probably want to go on ahead and uh, palm, towel, or jean strop them even. Do that about maybe 50 times per side, and uh, it'll bring your sharpness back up. Uh, me, myself, after about shave eight, I start off with a good 50 on the belt, then I move on to the towel, 20 more, and then after that, every other shave, I'll strop it maybe about... 30, 40 times uh, per side on probably a towel or even some jeans to keep it in a medium area. Uh, if I know it's really not cutting good at all, that's when I go to the belt, the leather belt to do it. But it does work. I have done this. I pushed it to 30 last year when we did this exact same test. I pushed it as far as possible. Other people got pretty far too. This year, I want to go to 45 or more. Even if I stop using the razor, I'm still going to be... Um, Saving the blade, I'm not gonna bend it till I get at least a month worth of shaves out of this bad boy. Um, so, uh, welcome. SE Smackdown, David Griffin here, just giving you a tip on how to keep that blade sharp. And if you're using the uh, CVS coated, CVS blades, those are carbon uh, steel, they carbon, carbon uh, blade coated blades, they kind of suck. But what you can do is you can still strop it. But after every shave, if you want it to not rust, do like I was doing. Take some baby oil, rub it on it once or twice on each side. Put some inside the uh, razor itself to make sure no matter what, if there is some moisture in there, it won't let your blade rust. So, all right, David Griffin, take it easy. Enjoy your test, and I hope you get as many shades as possible out of these. Basically, for me, the more shades you do with it, the lower your overall shave cost is. I got it down to about $0.07 cents per shave in value. Maybe I can get it down to one cent this year. Who knows? All right, take it easy. And after every shave that you do taking part in the SE raise test, put pound SE smackdown. Pound SE smackdown. Take it easy.